first day of school in Galena Park ISD is set for September 8th, but the new superintendent wants to make sure families know their children will be safe. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez talked to him. She's at Jacinto Elementary now with that story. Hi, Kathy. Well, good morning to you, Dr. John Moore has worked in education and worked toward being a superintendent for three decades, but I bet he didn't think that he would start the job during a global pandemic. We'll sign in, check in here, and then our, our nice lady behind the counter will tell us the rules. An educator at Galena Park ISD for nearly 30 years. And I've had pretty much every job there is to have here, and uh, this is my dream job. And. Uh, I could not be more excited. Well, as we head down our hall, we're with our principal. Dr. John Moore now holds the top spot. But in his first few months on the job, the biggest challenge a superintendent will ever face. Sometimes your uh, most challenging uh, issues become your greatest accomplishment. Reopening schools during a global pandemic. Public ed will overcome COVID-19 just like it overcomes everything else that comes our way. Galena Park ISD is now preparing for the school year. Among many safety measures, the district is using ultraviolet light machines. The light is so bright that it kills all the germs in the room. Uh, we have one of these for each campus. And mist cleaning machines daily. You'll actually see the mist come out and clean the top of the desk. It's unknown what the year will look like for teachers and students, particularly seniors. Will there be a prom or graduation? Moore says it's a possibility, but with safety in the forefront. We have a certain responsibility to the children of this community, and uh, we're going to make sure we hold up our end of the bargain. The first day of school, all virtual, of course, is set for September 8th. As of right now, in-person classes could begin in October, but Moore says he and the school board will be re-evaluating the situation as it gets closer. Of course, we'll continue to follow this developing story. Reporting live in Galena Park, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Kathy, thank you for that.